Welcome back to Appalachian Gun. So, today we are going to be looking at something I have made. This thing. I give you a cannon. But this is more of a movie prop than it is a real cannon. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, this is going to be used in a movie that me and my siblings are making. Um, it's in the process of being made. We're still making props. So, you know, it's going to take us a while. But my hope with this movie is to get it out there, get it seen, get it kind of, you know, famous. And, uh, you know, just see how it does. Because, you know, it's been kind of a dream of mine to make some movies. So I'm going to fulfill that dream because there's no reason why I can't. So, you're probably wondering why did I even mention this on this channel. It's because I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to see if this piece of wood back here is actually going to hold all of this recoil. Which, you know, it's just a 30-30. It, it ain't much. But, I guess I'll see you all there. Alright, here we go. My first test is to see if it'll actually use recoil and, you know, do the normal cannon thing, you know shoot and roll backwards a little bit but uh, keep it right there and i'm just going to first load it outside of the slot or holster or whatever you want to call it that's bullet number one you know might be helpful if i had a string to pull it because i don't think there's anywhere to you know unless i stick my finger way down in there uh, that's not going to feel good i'm, I'm going to go get a string i'll be back all right, I'm back. Got a string and let's see how it goes. That's pretty good. So it, you know, it went off. It hit the bank up here and it rolled. I wonder if that's just from me pulling it or if that's from the recoil. But I'm gonna take a look at this real quick and see what we got. Yeah, we moved the piece of wood, but, you know, we didn't break it. That's great. Ow. All right. This time, I'm going to set this right here. Ow. Line behind the trigger. Alright. Yep, we're good. Already. This time I'm going to pull a little lighter and actually give a countdown. Alright. Three, two, one. Well, huh. All right, let's try this again. Three, two, one. Looks like we have tried to eject the shell <laughs> before it even ejected. That's weird. Let's try another one. So it is the recoil doing this, moving it backwards. Because that time I pulled a lot lighter than the first. All right, I'm gonna roll this up a little bit. All right. Oh boy. Huh, 
Might have to check that out. I think one of our axles is bending. Anyway, have a little offset from the back just to see how it does there. All right, three, two, and one. Well, it seems to be working perfectly. That's great. Now, I guess I'll just make some modifications and I guess you'll we'll see this in the movie. And I guess that'll be it for this episode of Appalachian Gun. See y'all later.